Hey, BJ Peters here from StampinBJ.com and I'm excited to share with you some techniques using embossing folders. We have a brand new embossing folder out for celebration. It's called Country Home and it is phenomenal and I thought I'd take the opportunity to share techniques that you can use with that embossing folder as well as others. So let's get started. So here are some cards using various techniques with an embossing folder. And you are going to love the embossing folders, not just because you're going to get the texture, but because of all the fun things that you can do with them and how gorgeous they make the cards look. For these cards, I am actually using the Country Floral Dynamic Textured Embossing Folder, and that is part of the second release um, celebration products in the Stampin' Up! catalog. So you can get this embossing folder for free with your $50 order during celebration. And it's dynamic, so you can see that it is a thick embossing folder. And what you get with the dynamic or the thick embossing folders are a really deep texture that you can really play with and have fun with. The other thing that I love about Stampin' Up's embossing folders is this line. What that line allows you to do is to line up your cardstock evenly along that line so that if you are wanting a very straight image, you have the ability to get that because you've got that line to follow. Isn't that awesome? Because sometimes when you put your cardstock way up at the top, this little bit way up here is not going to get embossed and you'll have to either cut that off or deal with a partially embossed piece of paper. The first technique is frankly just a tone on tone technique. So for this technique, I used pool party and just embossed a plain piece of paper behind here and then added my focal point. So easy peasy. And actually this stamp set is called Painted Seasons, which is part of that second release celebration um, items as well. So a e very easy card. The second technique that I want to share with you is using a stamp pad in your embossing folder. You can use any color paper, including white, to get this effect. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your embossing folder and you're going to find the side that's flat, meaning that the flowers here are basically divots and this part is flat in here. And you're going to go ahead and take your ink pad and you're going to ink up the inside of your embossing folder. Then I'm going to go ahead and place my cardstock right inside there and press this down. I don't want to move that cardstock. Now I'm going to run it through my Big Shot. And here is what you get. So this is the back side and now here is the front side. So the pieces that kind of pushed down inside didn't get any ink on them and so thus I've created kind of the tone on tone look. And isn't that just gorgeous? So this is Petal Pink and Smoky Slate. Just an easy, fun, quick, gorgeous look. You're going to want to just take this over to your sink and wash it off and dry it really well. I took the inspiration for the next two cards right from the brochure. I looked at this um, example right here next to the uh, embossing folder and I loved the look. So I used my Stampin' Blends to color in the flowers and I was actually really surprised at how easy it was to do. The Stampin' Blends give me that great um, deep nice color and oh man i just think these are gorgeous gorgeous cards a little fact was that this embossing folder was actually made to match with the gingham gala suite and if you look at this card what i've done is i've taken my crumb cake stamp and blend and the little dots in here i've highlighted them and this card i didn't so you can kind of see the contrast there a little different look but kind of fun let me show you how easy that is. I've gone ahead and embossed a piece of Whisper White cardstock with the embossing folder. And now I'm just using, this is actually the Mango Melody Light Stampin' Blend. And I'm just going to easily just kind of color in the highlighted pieces here because that embossing folder is so um, deeply textured and it's one of the dynamic ones. I can easily see the the bigger areas and color them in. So you can see how this is coming together. I've used the light balmy blue, the light granny apple green, and the light mango melody. And now I'm gonna try the light daffodil delight on the roses. Kind of just keeping with the blue and the yellow theme here. Just coloring right over the top. You know what, and it doesn't have to be exact. Um, 
I see that, you know, sometimes the color bleeds just a little bit off to the edge and frankly, it doesn't bother me and I don't really notice that in the uh, finished product. So here is a close up of that finished product. So just layer that on a card and you can kind of see sometimes how the edges are, you know, they kind of blend together just a little bit and there's even some, you know, little white spots left, but I think it adds to the dimension of it. Frankly, when you look at the results of these, I think you're going to find that they're going to be just gorgeous and this one is going to be just as gorgeous. The last technique I did was almost a little bit of a reverse of that. What I did was I took my Whisper White cardstock and I actually just colored the background with my um, pool, Light Pool Party Stamp and Blend. A very simple card, but I like how the white flowers just kind of stand out. One of the other things that you might notice is the little bit of texture in here. What I did was I actually combined two embossing folders. So I used the subtle embossing folder, which is just these lines. And I ran my cardstock through that first before running it through with the country floral one. And the reason I tried that technique was I know that sometimes when you break the fibers and the paper just a little bit that you kind of tend to get more of a dimension. So I just thought I'd see how that worked with the two folders together and I love the texture in that. I hope you can see that. Well, thank you for stopping by today and checking out some of the different techniques that I have done with my embossing folders. As always, remember that you can get your free celebration items through my online store at stampinbj.com and I hope that you'll check out both of this celebration brochure as well as the other one. And again, I appreciate you stopping by. I hope that you'll visit my online store at stampinbj.com. And as always, remember to create and feel great.